Okay, just leaving Kroger. Um, I really didn't want to go back out. I've been, I've probably spent the last like hour or two since you see me make that last clip. Um, I edited some videos, got some more stuff uploaded. So what I've been doing now with my uploads is like, I try usually within a day or two after I put the clips all on my computer to uh, like get it, you know, like edited and like whatnot. And then I'll upload it to YouTube and then just have it, you know, set like, okay, this one will come out in two days from now. You know, the next one I upload, you know, a couple days from that, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so I got two on my other channel, two reviews, a third one uploading. And then on this channel, I've got one ready to go, like one uploaded. So I think that one comes out tomorrow. And then um, I've got enough for like, I think two more right now. So plenty of stuff, but uh, I'm going. plenty of stuff. But um, yeah, so like I said, though, I was uploading or editing and uploading two more videos just to you know get a couple more knocked out and then um i was like you know shelby had said something before she went to work she's like she really wanted a rotisserie chicken for dinner and i was like oh that does sound good but i was like i you know didn't really think much of it because you know we had just woke up she was getting ready for work and whatnot but um i was like you know i'm hungry i don't want fast food don't really have much at the house to make that sounds good um, I'm gonna run a Kroger real quick and grab one, so I grabbed her one of those. Super simple dinner. Can't go wrong with these rotisserie chickens. These things are delicious, whether you get them. We've got them from Myers, Walmart, and Kroger. Um, we get the Kroger one more because it's closest, but I like the Kroger one best. They're all pretty good, though. Super easy mashed potatoes. I got some popcorn chicken for now because she doesn't get off for, like, four more hours. And these, man, these are a good deal right now. They got them buy one, get one free. I could live on these. They're so good. And they're, like, not super bad for you. Almost forgot. More sprinkles because got to have these on ice cream. And we were out. Breaking my number one rule that I set for my desk. I don't care. I told myself no food because it's nice. It's clean. You know, keyboard, all that stuff's nice and clean. But I'm hungry, and I gotta edit some more video. Recording. Get in front of me. Beep beep. Oh, it's so blurry. Oh god, you're running me off the road. Sorry. What a terrible angle. Huh? What a terrible angle. Why is my bike beeping? Coast. <laughs> That's the Walmart special. <laughs> there's a reason why there's some bikes that are 300 plus dollars. Maybe I'll buy another one. I want a mountain bike. Like, if I had like a mountain bike, like with the gears, I would say like, let's literally go down Dixie and like, I would ride it to Sunny Point and back. My mountain bike's easier to ride. Well, they got gears, so like, you know, it makes it like really easy to ride. I know. I'm not. Okay. I don't want to go too sharp, but I didn't even think about like rocks being right there. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine the first night riding? Shit. What? Oh. oh, I was gonna show them the water. I'll come here mean... tomorrow and show you guys. There they are. So this time last year, the lake. It was see, it would, the up water to was here. All the way up to like here. Because when I don't and think now... you, I don't think you came swimming with us, but when I swam with. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> when who came over? Was it like Mike and Tyler and them? I think. I don't know. No, I was just saying like the water was literally up to here because I remember when we got in, we were swimming on this, but like we were swimming right here to get to the steps. Because remember the steps, the water was over the steps. But yeah, moral of the story is we actually have a lake now. <laughs> the moral of my story is I need a mountain bike. <laughs> I told this is where we first kissed, wasn't it? No, we no, 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 no. Somewhere, so, oh, me and my this hair. This is like our. This is our first out of car kiss, though, down here, wasn't it? 
It was something like Their that. first kiss was on your old road. I used to skip school and come here all the time. It used to be huge. You used to be able to walk like 20 feet out. Yeah. But um, it was it was garbage, remember? Like all those. But if you guys can hear that water, yeah. this is why I love living by the water. So, you guys, I bought something cool. Um, check out my other channel. I wanted, I wanted to make a video showing people how to, like, I guess what to look for when you buy these, you know, because a lot of people like the, you know, colorful LED strips, but they just don't know what to buy because it is pretty confusing if you don't know what the terms mean. So I bought these to make a video on my other channel and I just finally figured out where I'm going to put them. And this is really cool. Like, I'm really excited. Still haven't moved it. So you've got this little tiny remote. Um, this is an RF remote, so you don't have to like aim it right at it. It's just got to be like within range. Um, and we've got these uh, vertical blinds right here that go, you know, from the ceiling to our floor. And I was like, you know, that's white. That could reflect color pretty good and actually look kind of cool. Because I thought about it, I was like, it would be cool to put them like long. I uh, can't really see. I'm terrible at moving my arm in the camera where it's supposed to be. But I was like, oh, it would be cool to put it like all along that wall. They don't make the strip that long. I would have to connect two strips and there would be a gap and it would just really bug me. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'll do it along this wall. But where our door is, the ceiling like goes higher, like behind it. I'm like, and then I'm gonna have like a cord hanging down somewhere. I'm like, nah. So this isn't how it's gonna stay, obviously. That's gonna be behind the blinds. You're not gonna see any of that wiring, but check this out. So when I turn our light switch on, And it's like really bright daylight in here too. So like at night, this should theoretically glow. But the thing is I might change it or add another strip. So that's what it looks like. Let me turn it off here. So that's what it looks like. I've just got it like it's stuck straight to that. So it's aimed out, which obviously you won't see it. You'll just kind of see the reflection. I might get like a piece of plastic or something that's like a 90 degree bend like this to where the lights are shining down because I think if the lights shine down it would actually make all the curtains glow or whatever the blinds whatever you want to call them and I think that would look awesome but this is sweet so you hit the remote control and I don't know we're uh we're kids at heart so you guys might be like wow that's really tacky but I can't wait to see it at night this is gonna look sweet and it's got, it's just, it's in like auto right now. So it just scrolls through like all the different. That looks pretty sweet. I like all these. And like I said, like it's broad daylight outside too like so it's really bright in here i'm hoping at night it's gonna look even cooler but so the thing is with these you can um like so this is how they connect at the end to the little controller and the chart uh, not the charger but the plug and when you cut them you're left with three pads right here hopefully it'll focus so i can solder these on and basically like, I think just to have twice the brightness, I'm gonna figure out a way to stick it. Obviously I can't do it here because of the blinds, but like some way to stick it to where it's facing down, which would make these curtains glow. Oh, I like that mode too, where it kind of like fills up with all the lights. But um, yeah, that's kind of my plan with that is to figure out a way, well, I want to see what it looks like at night first because I'm sure a piece of plastic that long isn't exactly cheap and I don't I don't know if I could find like cardboard or what it would be because obviously you won't see it because that's it's got like a really big lip there but uh yeah you guys it looks sweet all right so I'm over here editing a video um that should yeah that'll be up way before this so, well 
a couple days before this so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video um pretty funny so far kind of long too you know nice longer one compared to what i've been uploading it always throws me off like i've got like blonde in my beard i always think there's something in it but um i'm starving it is 4 30 shelby's at work of course and i want one of those chicken sandwiches again from that place um my buddy said the nuggets were really good so i got like a four piece or six piece or something it's like four bucks got some of those with buffalo so i'm about to go pick that up it looks nice outside so i might drive the slingshot i don't know um i'm about to go outside and feel it i think last time i drove this thing you guys saw which was probably a month ago let's see if it starts chilly out it's like i don't know maybe 50 or 55 degrees a little bit breezy but i don't care i'm excited to drive this thing it's been a while Okay, back home. They finally got their waffle fries back in. That's a story I forgot to tell you guys. Cool, they didn't forget my sauce. So last time I went with my buddy, um, he had came over, because he bought the same computer I did, the tower, and he doesn't really know anything about it. But after, you know, I was telling everyone, you know, about the... Oh, he's look good. After I told them all in our group chat, you know, like the the stuff I ordered and the stuff I changed and, you know, how drastically, how, how it drastically improved it, um, he wanted to do that same, that uh, little NVMe hard drive or solid state drive, I should say. He wanted one for his, so he came over and I put it in, but uh, we went to go, went to this chicken place, the one I was telling you guys about, that Eureka Eatery. Look at that and um i got my we ordered the same thing i mean he got like i think medium instead of mild or something but essentially the same thing you know chicken sandwich fries and a drink i got mine and then we were standing there for like literally probably 10 or 15 minutes so i'm like dude you know this kind of sucks it's like mine's sitting here getting cold and i don't want to be rude and like go you know leave you know go stand outside in his truck and eat or whatever you know leave him in there so he goes up to the the counter and he's like hey uh, you know did you guys like forget about my order or something because people had came in and ordered and got their food like in the time that we had been there you know so it wasn't like they came in had like an online order or like a call in so she was like oh i'm so sorry um it should be like five more minutes so i'm like jesus christ sound just sounded like she completely forgot or something like that you know but didn't say that so um I'm like, all right, give me your keys. I'm going to sit in your truck. But I was just sick of standing there, to be honest with you, because, like, by that point, it had been, like, 20 minutes. And I'm like, cool, another five minutes. So I go out and sit in this truck thing. Okay, it's going to be a few more minutes. Fifteen more minutes goes by, and he still wasn't out there. And I'm like, and we were texting, you know, because he's in that same group chat. So, you know, he was texting me, and I'm just like, dude, this is ridiculous. Like, you know, I don't, I don't expect lightning speed. You know, it's not fast food, but... I mean, you could have got a meal at a restaurant at this point. Um, so anyways, he comes out there. We go home. I finished the computer real quick. I had like five minutes of tidying up to do, and then he took off. So I opened my bag of food, and I got regular fries instead of waffle fries. And they like I like to dip my fries in the sauce. They forgot the sauce. So low-key, I was pissed. I'm like, I waited all that time. Apparently, their supplier like had ran out of the waffle fries which you know understandable i'm not mad at anybody for that you can't control that but like when i say you know with a large waffle fry combo we should say hey just a heads up we don't have waffle fries we have regular fries you know what i mean like so i was kind of salty about it they forgot the sauce 
and I didn't see that they were out. Like I, I had saw they posted something on Facebook and somebody's like, what's the deal with you guys not having waffle fries? And somebody, you know, had commented that their supplier was out. So that's how I found out. But I am home now. Everything looks delicious. These are the little chicken nuggets. These look so good and crispy. I got ranch, buffalo, and I think this is called like comeback sauce or something. It's kind of like a honey mustard, but like a little more tangy. And of course the delicious sandwich. So I'm going to chow down, watch a little YouTube, and I'll be back. Are you guys as dumb as I am sometimes? Like, I took it off my desk. You know, I had a you know mess right here. Like, some of the sauce had spilled. And instead of walking 12 feet to throw it in the trash can i turned over and set it here on the table like just get your lazy ass up and throw it away that's one thing i guess that's like a pet peeve about myself is i want everything to be clean but i will literally take the mess and move it from here over to here where you don't see it until you look this way then you see it <sighs> But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the wires up for this thing now. Not too much, I just gotta like, get some double-sided tape and get it behind that one curtain and then it'll just, you know, dangle down there nicely. But this is so cool. So I was looking for something to like, angle them down. Basically, like, something would stick on right here, but have, like, a flat surface sticking out so I could put them on there so they would be angled down. I can't find anything like that. So I don't know how I'm going to do that because it's... I really want to leave those there and then also put another set facing down. But I can't find anything like that. Um, I don't know. I guess I could just get a piece of, like, aluminum and bend it or something. I don't know. I, I mean, I, there's options. I just... Got to figure it out. So that probably wraps up this vlog. I'm going to clean up. I've got this stupid simulator here. So at first I had it like this, which was fine because it didn't, you know, stick out here so much. But it came out to like here. So I would have to, you know, we both had to like squeeze through here to get to the bathroom and stuff. And, you know, I sit kind of reclined back. So I had to keep reclining it forward. So then, I kind of just, you know, for, this is literally just like this. I can't stress this enough. This is not staying here. I just like, it's down here temporarily so I can play with it. And uh, I'm going to have to get some longer cables and I can just run it like upstairs or something. But um, the couch is pushed way over because I've got it pulled out, you know, because I was working on the lights. So that's not normally cluttered like this, but this is so awkward down here. So yeah, this has got to go because it's just, it clutters my desk up because what sucks is some of the games still required keyboard or mouse usage. Like, you know, for that trucking game, for instance, when I pull up, I've got to hit a button on the keyboard to like say that I'm there or something like that, you know, versus like being able to do it on the steering wheel, which kind of sucks, but it's no big deal in a normal setup. You know, if this was my game room... I would have this set up, you know, computer over here, this, you know, tucked away in the corner and have an entirely like a, you know, like a little table right here. That's got a keyboard and a mouse. That way I can control everything from right here. But, um, just the way it sits now, I got to like lean up and hit the keyboard sometimes, but this is going to be kind of like one of those like back burner things. Like my next thing, I, well, obviously I want to get the deck done. I'm really, really close. And again, I say deck done. I just mean get the board screwed on. Get that other 2x8 or 2x6, whatever the hell it is. Get that put on. And then, you know, work on the stairs when I can figure all that out. But um, I, when I was at Lowe's the other day getting that last bit of deck wood and that grass seed... I noticed that they, oh, that looks kind of cool in the background. Yeah, see on camera, it's, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but it's so, like, not vivid compared to looking at it in person. Like, it's way brighter in person. But, um, 
Yeah, don't mind the couch either, because like I said, I just shoved everything over. Um, when I was at Lowe's the other day getting that grass seed and that dirt and stuff, I walked through one of the aisles because the way the lines are set up, you got to like walk way around to get in the back of the line because they're so long and spread out. Um, I was walking through this aisle that had insulation stuff in it and I look over and I knew they had the like the loose insulation, but I didn't know they had the machines because I didn't know our Lowe's did like tool rentals. They had the big um, the insulation blowing machine, which is what I need for that room. So it ran up here real quick. For any of my new subscribers or followers or people who might have missed some videos, this is like my game room back bedroom thing. Used to have like all wood panel walls and like tiled, ugly cardboard tile ceiling. Rip all that stuff down, rip the wood paneling off, expose this horrible drywall, but there's no insulation. So what I'm gonna do instead of tearing all this down, cause that would just be so much more work, is I'm just gonna rent an insulation blowing machine, which just blows in insulation. And I drill a hole like where each, you know, between each stud. So I just stick the machine in there, it fills it. And I cut all this open because I did the electrical. And then I just did this to tape it. So that when, that way when I blow the, uh, the insulation in, it won't come blown out down here, obviously. But, um, Basically, yeah, so that's what I'm waiting on. Um, is I gotta get that machine, and I thought you had to get it at Home Depot, and our Home Depot doesn't have that machine right now, or they're not renting them or something. So, like, this room, honestly, it's been on hold, because that's what it was at first. I didn't have the money, you know, when I was working and, you know, taking time off, like, around Christmas time. Um, and then my mom was asking me about the room, and she just, she had sold her house, or she's like, here, you know, like, I want to help you out, you know, go rent you that machine. And so then I had the money, but I didn't have the time because I was back at work full time. And that's a two person job. Like I need Shelby down there. I either need her up here, you know, holding it in each one of these holes, or I need her down there feeding the machine. And then me on the phone with her, like, all right, turn it on, turn it off, you know, whatever. Um, so I had the money, but then I didn't have the time. Now I've got the time and the money, but the world's shut down. So it's like something doesn't want me to finish this room. But I'm actually really, really upset. If you watched my videos on my other channel about me, like, you know, the I, I basically, I've, I've been recording from day one with this room. So if you'll remember the tiles that were up here, there was like that hole that was in this general area and it had been like, it was water damaged from what I thought was forever ago because it was like that for so long and it never got worse like we have had some serious rain over the past couple years like I'm talking there'd be times where it rained for like two weeks straight and the you know it was flooded outside so the many times I was up in the attic I had looked around I was literally climbing around up here because I was doing you know the wiring and stuff for these lights and there were no signs of any leaks at all. And again, you know, when I was working on the room, it was raining and snowing and stuff like that. So there was plenty of water outside to leak if it was gonna leak. Well, unfortunately, it's so hard to see because it's so tiny. Where is it at? Right there, there's the smallest little like water stain. It's been leaking. But the thing is, it's so random. I didn't even know it was doing it one day. Like, it had been, it was back when, um, I'm sure you guys remember not too long ago, my vlogs were like, it would be 70 and sunny, and then the next day it was like snowing. It was one of those days that it was snowing really bad. And like, I had came in here to get something, I heard this like, just this little like, I, don't, I hope you guys can hear that on camera, but I was just tapping my finger on this. But it was really slow. It was, I mean, that's 10 times faster than a what. It, it was literally like. And then 30 seconds would go by. So I'm like, what is that? And I'm like. Looking around and then I see this little drop of water hit the carpet. And I'm like.
God damn, my neighbors behind me are really annoying today. But I heard this little drip of water and I'm like, oh, no. And where's it at? It's right in that spot that was that had that water damage from before. So it's like I'm I'm relieved to say it's very, very mild. Like, you know, it's not anything severe. Um I've got this little I grabbed this little container thing out of her room because it was like the first thing I could grab to like catch the water. And I mean over the course of a week there's like this much water in the bottom and we had like you know rain every single night and that snow and stuff like that so it's not a big leak and i don't know where the hell it's coming from like that's the annoying part like i went up in the attic and i i don't see like any obvious signs like i even went up there it wasn't it had stopped dripping at the time but it was like the next morning but it was still raining and stuff though so like i don't understand where the hell it's coming from like is it you know somewhere over here and it's like you know going down the beam and then dripping right here or what like i don't know so it's kind of frustrating um probably gonna have to take that piece of drywall down and treat you know the stuff that's up there right now which is again really frustrating <sighs> I don't want to say I hope it happens again, but the next time it happens, hopefully I can get up in the attic right away, figure out, like, I will, I got to move all that insulation out of the way, I guess, because, I mean, you know, there's no way I can see through that stuff, so hopefully I can figure out where it's coming from, fix it up there, and then, you know, hopefully there's no, like, mold or anything, like, which I don't think there'd be, because there's plenty of airflow now, you know, it's, there's airflow up in the attic, there's airflow in this room now, um, I do still have my air tester, which is cool. This thing I got for free, so I can definitely test it. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this vlog. Um, just wanted to share that. Pretty, pretty active vlog, I guess, compared to last few. So <laughs> the other day, like the last two days, it's been 75 plus degrees outside in the sun. So naturally, you know, our house heated up pretty quick. I mean, over the course of a day and we got an upstairs. So heat rises. Open up the windows up there. It was still warm. We slept like crap. Um, now it's 62 degrees in here, so it's cold. I would like to leave the furnace off like it's we're in May now. I shouldn't still have to be running the dang furnace. This is crazy. But um, yeah, so I took that plug the plug was really short for that thing so the big black plug was like right in this area and you know that's hard to hide so i snipped the plug i'm gonna extend the wires so i can get the plug down to the ground and then uh yeah i'm super excited because it's getting dark in here so it should look really cool and i'm gonna go ahead and do that i will show you guys that and then uh that's gonna be it for this vlog today all right you guys they're done it's super awesome as is oh, you guys can see it in the reflection over there it's super awesome as it is like you know without shining down on the curtains and stuff but i think if i can find some way to make them shine down and up that will like push it over the top it still does no justice on camera it's still obviously not completely dark as you can tell but it is so cool like i could seriously sit here on the couch and watch this all day like i don't need the tv on. i don't need movies i could stare at this it's like eye candy it's such a random thing but god it turned out so cool and these lights are like 20 bucks I will link um, my other video up here, or wherever it is, on uh, my other page on buying these. Because I literally just bought these so I can make the video. I think that video will do pretty good because a lot of people would love to add stuff like this into their house, whether it's their bedroom, 
kitchen, you know, man cave, she shed, garage, whatever the heck it be. I think a lot of people want to get into this stuff, but just don't know how because, like I said, they use a lot of confusing words and stuff, so. But uh, I'm going to scroll through some of the different effects that the little remote can control. Sorry about the dog snoring in the background. <laughs> Tash is out. And it kind of sucks because it's... It accounts for there being like... What is it, I think 16 or 20 foot or something like that of the LED strip. So unfortunately it doesn't go like perfectly like centered or whatever. But oh wow that one is cool. That one is so much more vivid. Wow, that one is super like, it's more intense because the colors are more defined instead of just kind of like blending in with each other. I like that one. This one's pretty cool too, almost like a chasing effect. I hope it turns out good on camera. Like, it looks pretty good through the screen right now, but my God, in person, it looks so much more vivid. I don't see, like, there's no way I can, like, adjust it, but... Oh, that's kind of cool, like a single color scrolling. There's just like, this is just all the automatic ones. There's like anything you could possibly imagine. Now I'm just hitting the button real quick just to see if there's anything that like sticks out. And then of course, I'll go through the uh, solid colors real quick. You got red, green, blue. And you got like randomish, you know, oranges, peach, um, like aqua, pinkish purple, like teal, and then you got white. White's kind of cool too, like it gives you enough light to see without being like overbearing or like, I don't know, just too strong or something. Like that would be nice to have that on watching a movie or something. But uh, go back to auto or... Oh, you know what? I think I gotta scroll through. Oh no, that was it. Yep, there we go. So, alright guys, like I said for the 10th time now, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time.